What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Playoffs. Tuesday, July 6th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have an NBA showdown. This is the NBA Finals between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Phoenix Suns. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Chris Paul from the Phoenix Suns playing the Milwaukee Bucks and Chris Paul has averaged 37.9 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 67, 36, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games playing 34, 35, and 37 minutes. He had a usage rate of 32, 30, and 34% the last three games, so his usage rate has gone way up, and he's projected at 40.9 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Chris Paul here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, another point guard that I like is Drew Holiday from the Milwaukee Bucks, and he averaged 36.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game, with a 22% usage rate, he scored 63, 53, and 35 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 42, 41, and 38 minutes. He had a 31% usage rate last game, so his usage has gone way up. Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton have gotten a big bump in usage with Giannis Ananakupo out. Now, Drew Holiday is projected at 42 fantasy points here tonight, so I like Drew Holiday here versus the Phoenix Suns. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Devin Booker from the Phoenix Suns. He averaged 37.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 33% usage rate. He scored 39. 43 and 28 fantasy points in the last three games playing 42 43 and 38 minutes he's projected at 40.7 fantasy points here tonight so i like devin booker here versus the milwaukee bucks now if you want to take a shot on pat connington he's a deep sleeper pick his salary's still low and you can see that he scored 30 fantasy points in 30 minutes last game, but he's definitely a hit or miss kind of player. He can make or break your lineup, so it's a tournament play only. I'm gonna shy away from this play coming off of that 30 fantasy point game. Not The, the chances that he does that back to back are not very good, but he is super low salary. He'll probably continue to be low owned here. So I don't mind him as a deep sleeper pick as a tournament play. You got to save some salary somewhere and he's going to get plenty of minutes. So I don't mind Pat Connington if you want to make your lineup different here versus the Phoenix Suns. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Chris Middleton from the Milwaukee Bucks. He averaged 36.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate he scored 49, 62, and 35 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 40, 
44 and 36 minutes. He had a 34% usage rate last game. He's projected at 44 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Chris Middleton here versus the Phoenix Suns. Okay, another low salary player that I prefer over Pat Connington is Mikal Bridges from the Phoenix Suns. He averaged 26.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 15% usage rate. He scored 16, 9, and 31 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 23, 27, and 39 minutes. So you can see he's another guy that's kind of hit or miss. He'll make or break your lineup. He's projected at 25.6 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Mikal Bridges as a low salary option here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Bobby Portis from the Milwaukee Bucks. And Bobby Portis averaged 24.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 21 minutes per game with a 21% usage rate. He scored 26, 45, and 13 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 32, 35, and 20 minutes. So if he's going to play over 30 minutes, his, his salary is still pretty low. So it makes, it makes him one of my favorite plays on the slate. He's projected at 28 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Bobby Portis here versus the Phoenix Suns. Okay, now another deep sleeper pick here. If you're looking to make your lineup different and save a ton of salary, a guy that's playing a bunch of minutes and he's had pretty decent games the past couple of games. Take a look at PJ Tucker from the Milwaukee Bucks. Now he only averaged 12.8 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 7% usage rate, but he scored 21, 21, and 10 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 32, 37, and 27 minutes. So he's playing a ton of minutes. He's projected at 20 fantasy points here tonight. So I don't mind PJ Tucker, if you're looking for that super low salary player to make your lineup different here versus the Phoenix Suns. Okay, let's take a look at the center position. I like DeAndre Ayton from the Phoenix Suns. He averaged 33.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. He scored 42, 29, and 62 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 40, 36, and 41 minutes. He's projected at 36.4 fantasy points here tonight. So I like DeAndre Ayton here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Now with Giannis and Nakupo out, you got to consider Brooke Lopez from the Milwaukee Bucks. He averaged 24.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. But he got a big bump in minutes when Giannis went out. And he scored 28, 57, and 17 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 37, and 28 minutes. He's projected at 30 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Brooke Lopez here versus the Phoenix Suns. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.